Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to the first ever video here on this channel. Uh, my name is Dan, and I've got something I want to go over with you guys today. So, longtime Star Wars fan, I'm assuming you guys all are too, otherwise you wouldn't be here. I have recently got into the, let's just say higher end, saber collecting uh, trade. And some that everyone had always kept mentioning to me was a company called Saber Trio. I went and checked them out. Um, I liked a lot of their hilts, primarily because they were non-canon hilts. I liked something unique that, you know, you're not just walking around going, oh, look, there's an Obi-Wan hilt, there's a Darth Maul hilt. But they were always sold out. So I had done a lot of research on them, and everything I saw said they were just an amazing company. Um, their customer service was second to none. And as a matter of fact, that's something after we take a look at what I want to show you guys today, um, I'd like to talk about because very rarely have I ever come across a company, regardless of the field that they're in, that had the level of customer service that Saber Trio did. So Saber Trio, if you guys are watching, thank you so much. Anyway, so Black Friday 2022, I heard they were doing one of their reopening events and um, that they were going to have some some cool the hilts that were essentially ready to ship and as you can see here on the the wallpaper they posted the picture of this acid etched uh, vulcan uh maybe like a week or two before black friday and it just immediately caught my attention um i kept my ear to the ground i got up super early in the morning of black friday and just sat here poised waiting for their their shop to reopen and i managed to snag one so here we go. It's going to be a little bit out of order. Uh, I did do an unboxing portion of this, which I will show you guys next. Um, but I did it last night because I wanted to make sure that nothing was damaged. I wanted to make sure the saber was charged so I could show you guys how it works. But right over here, we have this guy. So this is a new type of weathering that they've done. Um, it just on the website said weathering type 2 so take that for what you will and it is based off of uh, Jedi Fallen Order and the star charts that they had on the, the menu screen um, the loading screens and the the skill tree and I just thought this was really cool I had seen another acid etched Falcon um, Oh, what's the channel name? Uh, Carly King on YouTube. She had a Slytherin one that she had done for this. And I had thought about getting one of these custom if I ever could. But the wait time, which I completely understand, it was so long. I am a very impatient person. So when I saw that this design was ready to ship and I could have it in just a couple weeks, I just went with this instead. But ever since seeing her video, I was uh, really kind of digging the idea of an acid etched saber because they look so nice. So the weight on this guy is surprisingly light. I was actually expecting this to be a bit heavier than it was, um, but in a good way. It doesn't feel light. It doesn't feel cheap. Um, the, the craftsmanship on this is just superb. Uh, I was expecting at least some plastic bits on here, and everything on here uh, is fully metal. Even the CoverTech wheel, I believe, is actually metal as well, and I know a lot of CoverTech wheels are just plastic. Um, they did a blade plug in here that actually matches the weathering on the white wrist of the saber, uh, and that's super cool as well. But let's go ahead and uh, see what you guys are here for. Let's get this fired up and see what it does. So with this guy, you twist off the pommel cap, which I'm going to kind of talk about build quality as I go, um, because I have... I have two other installed sabers from a different company that I will not mention here. I will do specific videos on them because while I love their hilt designs, the electronics in them are super janky, and I kind of want to put that as, out as a cautionary video. Um, but this, compared to a lot of the others and some of the empty hilts I have, the threads are super clean. It doesn't squeak when you screw it in. It doesn't hang up. They just paid a lot of attention to detail. Matter of fact, the bottom of the pommel is actually empty and there's a vent up here so even though this only has a 22 millimeter speaker in it the sound resonance from it is phenomenal and since I've got my lapel mic on 
when I fire this up, hopefully this gets some decent quality audio. So with Saber Trio, it's technically a removable chassis, but it's still kind of held internally. So you unscrew the bottom, kind of tap with your palm, and it comes out about yay far. You've got your kill switch, recharge port, there's an 18650 in here. Um, and then on this side, you can see you've got your profi board with the Saber Trio logo on it, uh, but you do have access to your SD card and your, uh, your port on the board right there. When I say it's sort of removable, you can kind of pull this out, twist a little bit, and it won't completely detach, but it will come out. So if you do want to change out a battery, you don't have to rely solely on the recharge port. But let's get this fired up. Flip the kill switch. Now this guy came pre-installed with, uh, it's a black switch with a glowing green button. If I could have changed one thing on it, which I knew I couldn't because they were pre-made, I would have rather had like a white or a yellow or maybe even just not an illuminated switch at all. And that's just because sometimes the green I've noticed can kind of clash with the blade color. Um, for example, last night when I was messing with it, trying to learn all the features, I turned on the blade, it was a red blade, and it just made it look like a Christmas saber. Like I could have propped this up next to my Christmas tree and it wouldn't have looked out of place. So we'll go ahead and screw that back on. Excuse me, my dog is losing her mind over something. So click to turn it on. And this came loaded with several sound fonts. I'll talk about those in a second, too. Real good smooth swing. Good flash on flash. Um, you can double click. That was a... All right, guys, sorry about that. Um, I thought right in the middle of my rave review, uh, I was having a malfunction with my less than 24 hour old Saber, but I wasn't. Um, last night when I, when I opened it up and I saw the recharge port and everything, there are instructions on how if you want to remove the chassis completely out and swap out the batteries, how to do it. Uh, and it involves kind of spinning it to loosen up some of the wires inside so it can come out further uh, and I think I just didn't tighten it far enough. So the battery had started to kind of work itself loose right there. So I made sure that was in there. I twisted it tight and now it's fine. I'll show you. So. Which by the way, amazingly responsive flash on clash. Um, a lot of, well, I say a lot, but the other couple installed sabers I have, you'll only get the flash every like three or four hits because it's like it goes off and then you have to wait for it to kind of reset itself anyway with this double click this you get lightning lock up the auxiliary button here on the back blast through the flex if you hold it down force power so lots of cool stuff so i'm going to power this off i hold it down for like two seconds um and here's a, when you change the sound fonts, which like I said, this comes with like 10 or 12. Uh, some of them are Kyberphonic and Kaysif. Uh, Saber Trio has their own two custom fonts on here, which are actually really cool. Um, but the audio quality, even of the voice that says sound bank selection, like it's very good. You'll hear it here in a sec. So hold this down. Sound bank selection. And then you can, so this is on one called balance. You can click through them. Darkness. Vengeance. Kylo Ren. So let's find one of the Saber Trio ones. Snippet. At last we must. I wondered when you would. Traitor! Good again. Teensy. Smooth Jedi. Smooth. So here's the Saber Trio ones. I'll hold this down to confirm. Good to go. Yeah. 
Now, when you get one that has the colored light, you kind of see what I mean here. It can potentially clash, but this is also the balance point of the saber. So when you're holding it and this is covered, I actually hold it like this so that my finger's on the aux button. And then just... You can't even tell. Um, it does come with twist off and twist on, which is cool. And then, obviously, the emitter plug lights up. So, something else that this has that I have not seen before, which is cool, is there's like a disconnect and a connect noise. So if the saber's on in standby, and I were to loosen the blade plug, if I take this out, now nothing will happen. When I put it back in, that means it's connected and ready to go. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to take the blade plug out. This is something else I want to talk about because this is really cool. All their sabers, and they are competitively priced, and they're not as expensive as some, come with blades. This one came with a 32-inch NeoPixel blade, um, which I think I said in the unboxing that you're about to see that I recorded last night. The 32-inch blade isn't really my speed. I'm a big guy. I'm six foot four. So this combined with how deep the blade socket is on this thing makes it look a little short. But it's a quality blade. Um, it looks good when it lights up. And this is a sanded blade which a lot of the other companies that you can buy the Pixel Sticks from, they will charge you extra for that. So not only do you get a blade for free, it's one of the nicer blades. I'm going to show you pretty much everything else with my Bendu Armory 36-inch blade, but just to show you guys what you get with it connected. I'm not going to tighten it. I'm just going to show you. Lightning. Blaster bolt to flex. I don't know if there's a force effect. No, just a sound. So, nice blade there. Disconnect sound. It scared the crap out of me the first time. It sounded like something shorting out. I'm like, Jesus, did I break one? Ugh. So, now you can see here the Bendu Armory blade that I've got looks pretty much the same. Oh, a little weathered down here because my Fallen Order Saber... Uh, I had to sand that down a little bit for it to fit. I'll go ahead and put this guy in. Tighten it down. Not super tight, just enough to hold it in place. Um, because those of you who have never had these, you'll find out that if you over tighten those screws, worst case scenario, you could crack and damage the, the housing of the blade. Um, but even if you don't do that, you'll notice there'll be little circular marks that kind of dig into the blade. So personally, I will try to just line it up with the one little circle that's on there. Lift off. Lift on. When it's in standby like this, you can click the aux button. And it gives you a battery level indicator, which is super cool too. Let's see. So, my thoughts. Beautiful saber. Got some arabesque on here. I forget exactly what it says. I, I had it saved in my phone. I want to say it's like peace, knowledge, wisdom, something like that. I'm not good enough just looking at that yet to really tell. I can kind of make it out. But anyway, um, let's try some other sound thoughts. Sound bank selection. Dark edition. Here's Saber Trio's Dark Edition. So you can see a Christmas Saber. <laughs> that being said, the Proppy board on here is um, it's Proppy 2.2, but it's been fully optimized and set up with all these blade styles and everything straight from the factory. So a lot less set up there. Um, it's cool because Profi is so customizable, but I do understand it is a massive learning curve. I am by no means an expert. I'm still fairly new to Profi, but I did like the customization options on some of my other sabers, so I did want to go with that over CFX. 
Um, I'm trying to think because I don't want it to sound obviously this is not a sponsored or paid review or anything, and I don't want it to sound like there are no faults, but everything I found is is very minor. So let me go ahead and take the blade out, and then I'm going to show you a couple little things. Blade plug back in. Uh, there are no lit NeoPixels in here on the PCB. Um, it's one where the blade plug you have to have that, and there is um, there's a pixel inside there. Okay, so if I wanted to be nitpicky, and I do, um, there were a couple machining marks. So I don't know if you can see right here. There was a chip in the finish down there, a little white chip. Um, there was another one right there. It might not even show up on camera. And again, nothing major. I just want to point out everything I saw. Um, and the only other thing, and this is just my OCD, if we're looking at the front of the saber or the back and we follow this straight down, this lines up, everything lines up. The pommel cap doesn't quite line up, so this is off kilter a little bit when it's screwed in all the way. Not a huge issue. Um, honestly, I'll probably just take a little O-ring gasket um, and put that on the inside so when it tightens up, I can just kind of clock it the way I want it. Um, but the balance on it is great. This will be amazing for spinning. I wouldn't duel with it too hard, although Saber Trio does say that their blades and even their NeoPixel Sabers, you can duel with. Um, Price-wise, um, I got this on their Black Friday special. I want to say it was $650 US. Um, I know their acid-etched ones, I think, for this model at least, are usually about $700, and then you're looking at massive wait time. Like I, I think they said like 30 weeks, but they work with you to design your own. So I went with something that I could get in just a couple weeks. Ordered this on Black Friday. It was in my hands December 12th, so not a big deal there. I'll go ahead and power this guy down just to save some battery. Um, I will say that you should probably get a uh, higher capacity battery just because this one does seem to deplete fairly quickly. Um, for example, this was fully charged when I started the video and you saw when I did the battery meter, it was already down like 20%. But NeoPixels, they just... they chew through batteries so quick. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it here for a moment. I'll show you the unboxing portion. That way you can see everything else that came with it. I know one thing that I didn't mention in there that I think is super cool, the uh, the charger that comes with this. Saber Trio covers you for everything because they don't know where their products are going. They're based out of Malaysia um, and they ship stuff all over the world. But even the wall charger for it had different power connectors for different regions around the world basically you know if you're outside the u.s or somewhere that uses a different sort of plug um, there were like four of those in the bag there are extra you know grub screws in case you strip or lose the one for your blade retention there's another one down here that's not for your blade my guess is that's chassis retention so i'm just not gonna mess with that at all um this one seems to be enough um you know, the blade, the fact that the blade was sanded, the fact that they send a thank you card. It's all just really cool. So anyway, I'll go ahead and put that in, and then I will see you guys after that because I want to... All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing opened up and take a look at it. I'm super excited. Um, first thing that I want to talk about here is the packaging. So you can see that this came in pretty much pristine condition. It's been shrink wrapped over the box itself. And this came all the way from Malaysia. Um, and it was also delivered via DHL, which they've apparently had really good experiences with. I never really have, but in this instance, it was super quick. Uh, I ordered this from their ready to ship sale on Black Friday. Today is December 12th and it showed up today. And so you've got the Saber Trio logo here on the seal. And uh, let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what's in here. Super 
super, super jazzed about this. open this way. Oh, this is so nice already. So we've got a little card that came with it. Kind of a thank you for your order thing, which is really nice. You don't see that a whole lot. Um, looks like it also has a QR code on the back for a manual for how it works. We've got what appears to be the charger. Superfluous bubble wrap. So it looks like a set of, it's an Allen key and apparently a couple extra grub screws, I'm assuming for blade retention. That's cool. We have what looks like a 90 degree data cable. This is probably going to be for any kind of like software updates or loading fonts onto the saber, that's nice. Um, there was another one that I had from Etsy, it was a fallen order hilt, and I had to order one of these separate, so that's cool. Another really cool thing is they come with blades. Uh, since this was one of the ready to ship ones, I didn't get a choice in blade size. This is a 32 inch. I usually like the 36 to the 37s because I'm six foot four, so that just looks more natural, but still came with the blade, and that's super cool. What have we got here? Even more bubble wrap. Okay. And here we go. Got the acid etched Vulcan right here. I'm not talking a whole lot about the specifics on this because I just want this part to be opening this up. However, um, I will add more in here where I actually get some up close shots and talk about this. Boy, they wrap this on here real good, don't they? One was meant to mimic the star chart from Fallen Order. Got the blade plug in there. We've got the black activation switch. I believe this is going to illuminate green. Big old vent chamber in there. The auxiliary switch here on the back. This is gorgeous. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. Um, once I have everything juiced up, then I will come back and we'll we'll go over everything here in detail. See you guys in a minute. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that very unprofessional unboxing. There, I'm still new to this. Please bear with me. Um, but yeah, Saber Trio's customer service. So a couple little stories here. I would basically harass them unmercifully via their Instagram page or Facebook with a whole bunch of inane questions. Um, before I decided to buy one, I was asking questions about their products. Um, I, I even asked some questions just to see how they'd respond that were very easy to find on their website as far as like typical lead times, depending on the model and what options you chose, which for a standard Sabre roughly is about 16 weeks. Um, they were always very responsive, um, usually within an hour of me sending the message. I think the longest I ever had to wait was about a day, and it turns out that was because that was during their elections over there, and it was their weekend. 
and they still managed to reply quickly. Um, there was never any sort of condescension about like, well, why didn't you just check our FAQ page? Um, they didn't even do that politely and say, hey, check our FAQ page for answers to, to all your stupid questions. Very polite. Um, they even remembered who I was after a few times. They'd say, you know, it's nice to talk to you again. You know, I hope we answered your questions last time. Here's the answers to your current questions. Um, I had watched a video on one of these guys. And when I saw that the chassis only came kind of halfway out and seemed like it was tethered, I was like, hey, do you guys do, can you remove the battery? I can see the battery in there. Um, because I would prefer something with a removable battery because I don't like if one battery dies, I just have to have my saver plugged in until it fully charges. And not only did they say, you know, no, don't worry, you can remove them, they immediately sent me a, a video that they recorded of how to open this up and, you know, take out the battery. Uh, I have just never dealt with a company that was so responsive, so genuinely pleasant um, to communicate with. And they, I don't know if saying like staying in character is, is really the right phrase, but you know, they would always end their messages, you know, may the force be with you. Um, I forget exactly what it was because I'm actually recording on my phone. So I don't have easy access to the email because I don't want to pull it up on here. Uh, but it said uh, on when it shipped, the email was titled like the circle is now complete, you know, Vader's line from A New Hope. So that was just really cool. And there are so many companies these days where customer service just doesn't seem to matter. Um, doesn't matter how much you're paying or what you're buying, you get treated at best like they're doing you a favor by selling you their product. And Saber Trio was the complete opposite. So I said this earlier, I doubt anyone from Saber Trio is watching this. If anyone is, thank you. Truly, even if this product was not as good as it is, um, I would still be singing your praises because of how you treat your customers. It's amazing. So, guys, this was the Acid Etched Vulcan. Um, Model 3 is what it was called on their RTS sale. Um, they had another one that was done up in, like, Sith runes. The button glowed red. That one just wasn't quite for me. And they had said they were going to have a, uh, a Model 2, which had an illuminated white switch. And I noticed right before Black Friday, it disappeared from their website. So I bugged them about that. I said, hey, look like you were going to have another model. What happened to it? And they responded something with like, you know, you actually had a keen eye. You're the first one to say anything about this. And, and their response was the cool part. They said, the design did not meet our standards. We had really hoped to have another version of the Vulcan that was pre-acid etched, um, but because it just didn't meet our quality control standards and what we thought was an acceptable product, we just pulled it. And here's the thing, Saber Trio, it's so hard to get one of their Sabres because they sell out so quick and then it can take a couple months for them to restock. Even if they had put one out that was a little subpar visually, um, as long as it didn't have any, you know, functional issues, obviously, people would have bought it and they would have been happy about it and they could have sold it, but they didn't. They pulled it and they said, you know, maybe at a later date for another event or at another time, once we have everything worked out, we'll put out another version. That just tells me that they care about their customers. Um, and I'm sorry that the, the customer service rant about this was as long as the rest of the video practically, but I just, I want everyone to know that for me, Saber Trio, this was the first pleasant Saber buying experience I've ever had with a company. Um, the other one that I alluded to that I will do a video on is kind of a mainstream one. I ordered two Sabers from them. They were both trash right out the gate. Um, and after a month and a half of trying to communicate with them and them telling me how I could supposedly fix it with firmware updates and this and that, I just gave up. And I said, at some point, I'll just have a saber installer maybe like jeremy over at solo sabers or something like that um just gut the thing because i love the hilts but they were almost non-functional the board in it and the, the electronics were just so glitchy so that wasn't great and i waited five weeks past their their nine to 16 week window um i ordered them at the beginning of june because i wanted them for halloween and i didn't get them until november so talk about that later 
Uh, and the other one was Cal Kestis's Fallen Order Hilt from um, the first game. And that one just turned out to be kind of a sketchy seller on Etsy. Um, three months past the delivery window, I could hardly ever get him to respond to something. And when I threatened to take action, oh, miracle of miracles, I suddenly had my saber. Once I had it, it worked for 29 days with minimal use before the speaker shorted out and it started having um, electrical issues. Um, you would push the power button, it would go on, off, on, off, on, off. Could never get a hold of the guy again, so that's another one that I paid full price for an installed saber that I'm just going to have to have gutted and reinstalled. So after about a year of trying to get into this hobby, the only thing I'd had pleasant experiences with were empty hilts. Um, so it's it's just nice to have something that works and is just really great quality with wonderful customer service. Um, last few things on this guy that I probably should have mentioned earlier, but I didn't script this. This is just kind of off the cuff. Uh, other nice things, they send you that welcome card in there that has a QR code that you can scan to take you to the user guide which is very handy. Um, all the features of how you trigger what effects with what buttons, they give you like a nice little flow chart that you can follow um, for installing new fonts, especially with Profi, because Profi can be tricky. They give you a step-by-step -step guide with visuals on how to do everything there. That is also really cool, um, which, because this slightly differs from the controls on the other ones I had, I couldn't figure out how to do a couple things on this, but once I read the, the user guide, it made a lot of sense. Um, for example, uh, the the lightning clash on the Fallen Order Saber was the opposite of the lockup where you hit. So for this one, the lockup is the same. You hold down the aux button, and while you're doing that, um, you I think you smack the saber. You hold down aux, tap power, and hit it, and it locks up. On the other one, the lightning deflect was the opposite. You held the power, clicked aux, and it started doing the ripple effect. This one, you just double click the power button but it's not intuitive unless you're provided with a great guide, which Saber Trio did. Um, so I'll pretty much call it here. If anyone has any questions, um, wants to critique how crappy the quality of this video was, I don't blame you. Just drop them in the comments. I'd love to start talking to you guys. I've done other YouTube channels for other things in the past, but Star Wars has always been a, a big love of mine ever since the first time I watched A New Hope as a kid and saw the uh, the Graflex get switched on for the first time. I was done at that point. So thank you guys for bearing with me. Um, I'll do other reviews. Might not be quite as positive as this one for the installed sabers that I've got. Um, I'll even review if you guys would like to see some of the empty hilts I have that I plan to get installed. A lot of them are really great quality, so I can go over stuff there too. Um, yeah. You know, thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you have a great day and as always, may the force be with you.